Hey you guys, it's Purse Sale Friday. I'm Kristen with another Chance Resale and it is Purse Sale Friday. Now, before we begin, at the bottom of the screen, you are seeing my Instagram handle, my Instagram page. I have been very active over on Instagram. I'm learning the platform and I post a lot over there. So if you have Instagram, or even if you don't and you wanna just create an account just to see what I'm doing, please feel free to follow me. This is the name that you type into the search. I will have the direct link in the description box along with my other links. Um, I've been doing a lot of reels, a lot of stories. Um, I post multiple times a day. I do a lot of behind the scenes um, videos. I do like thrift with me's little like clips at the thrift store and stuff like that. I do before and after with the purse or you know wallet or whatever like painting and um, up up cycling and restoration repair stuff like that. So that's all on my Instagram page. So feel free to check that out and give me a follow. Um, okay, so. We are going to have some fun today. We have some purses, we have two pairs of shoes, and we have an America's Thrift Supply five name brand purse mystery box to open. So I will put the rules up on the screen um, on how to order, ordering instructions, and I'm not going over them anymore, but you'll see the ordering instructions come up on the screen numerous times throughout the video. Um, and I just will explain that the sold list is the most important part of the ordering. So let's put up the ordering instructions now and we'll go over the sold list. Okay, so the sold list is something that you have to check before you email me. And in order to check it, you have to refresh the video. You have to go out of the video, click out of it, then click back into it, or just like you guys refresh the Thread Up Rescues page, that's how you refresh a YouTube video. If you're on a tablet, phone, or computer, you press the button on the screen that has a little arrow in a circle, and that will refresh the page. You can do that as many times as you want in order to see the most up-to-date sold list. I will have a pending payment list there as well, which means I sent an invoice out to somebody and I'm waiting on their payment. So you can feel free to email me to be a backup buyer for that item, um, but that is the pending and then I will have the sold once I've received payment. So make sure before you email me, you refresh and check the sold and pending list. Now remember, just because you, you, you checked it, doesn't mean that somebody beat you to it in the emails, okay? So please okay, keep that so in mind. Let's start with the clearance section. These are the purses from last week that did not sell. We're gonna drop the price and hope to find them a new home this week. I will not go over these clearance bags in detail because they were shown last week. If you need to see something in, of the clearance items in more detail, you can just refer back to last week's video. Okay, so I am completely shocked that nobody wanted the vintage black leather Dooney and Burke messenger bag. Um, this is like the most awesome bag, if you, especially if you are a Dooney lover. Um, it is in fabulous condition. I spent a lot of time restoring the leather. Um, I have that video on Instagram. Um, so it is a crossbody. You can adjust it to shoulder bag. It has the little like comfort strap here. You have the hang tag. Whoops, wrong side. You have the hang tag there. You have the Dooney on the front. Okay. The back has a pocket, a large pocket. Okay. And then the bottom and corners are in excellent condition. That's a little thread. All right. And then you're gonna open her up here. And this is like um, a little, this is definitely a little worn. This is the top of the bag. It's got some fuzzies stuck to it. Don't worry about that. But see how it's like got some wear to the top here, but you can see the rest of the bag is in really good condition. 
Then you have the inside where you have a back pocket, blue fabric. You have the front section, which has your Dooney and a zipper pocket. Here is your serial number. And over here you have a, you have the original pencil and Dooney and Burke address book that has not even been written in at all. Okay, it's blank. So I thought that was really cool. And um, there is one of these listed on eBay for $225. I am going to drop this down to $125. Um, and if it doesn't sell, it's going up on eBay and Posh for $200. So grab it while you can now for $125. All right, let's put you there. My nose is already starting. Okay, so next up we have the Nino Bossy. This is a gray, like a dark charcoal gray leather with black leather crossbody. Um, the strap is black leather and the t um, pulls are black leather and it has gold tone hardware. Um, it is adjustable. So you can make it a uh, shoulder bag if you would like. It has some really cool whip stitching on the front. You have a pocket on the front. And on the back, you have a pouch pocket and a zipper pocket. It's in excellent condition. You have the Nino Bossy right here with your genuine leather. Bottom and corners are excellent. Strap is excellent. The top has a zipper closure. The inside is one compartment, and you have your branding with your zipper pocket and your slips. So, very nice condition, dark gray and black, Nino Bossy, $40. Next up, we had the orange leather fossil. So this one had a couple little issues, so we're gonna drop it down drastically. Um, this is a crossbody bag, you cannot adjust it but I'm pretty sure if you loop it through these loops right here, you can make it a shoulder bag. Um, it is a nice uh, bright orange leather. You have this uh, silver heat stamp of the fossil. You have a little bit of darkening of the leather up here, and then a little bit of wear on each corner. Not, not terrible. And then the inside has a zipper closure. And it, the inside is gorgeous. Zipper pocket, card slots, slip pocket. So we're gonna drop down the yellow, the orange leather fossil to $20. $20 on the fossil. Next up we had the Soreal Fringe. Again, another one that I'm shocked nobody bought. This one is a larger bag, unless I would have kept it, but this is too big for me. This is like a dark red, like a brick suede. You have the um, shoulder handle, which is removable, or you have the crossbody strap, or you can, um, or it could be a longer shoulder or crossbody. This is removable and adjustable. This is new with tag. Okay, and then you have your hang tag. I think it was on this side. Yeah, right here. Hang tag. You have a pocket on each side. The back has a zipper pocket. It is in new condition. When you open up the top here, it is a magnet um, closure. And then the inside is one compartment. And you have your branding with your zipper pocket and your slips. All right, beautiful brick red suede fringe purse by Soriel. There is a little bit of um, like, like the, it's not all the one color. That's, if you get my drift here, but that's like what suede and leather is. So we're gonna drop this one down to 60 Soriel. 
absolutely stunning. Okay, then we had Lucky Penny. This is the very, very, very large leather cutout, uh, red leather tote, shoulder bag, handbag. Um, it has a little hang tag here. It has all these cutouts and a um, antique gold tone hardware. It's in excellent condition. Okay. It is very large, as you can see. You have these two um, things on each side that you can cinch the bag in if you would like. It has a snap closure and one large compartment. And the inside is clean. You have your branding right there with your zipper pocket and your slips. The bottom, like I mentioned last week, you can see the glue um, from the bottom where they held it together in order to sew. So for the red leather Lucky Penny leaf tote, we are going to drop this down to $65. Beautiful. Next up, we had the Made in Italy leather snake print tote. This is more of like a little handbag. Um, it has like a beige, beigey tan and black snake print. It is leather and it has like those little, like the crisscrosses, like um, is like that suede. So it's really nice. Um, it's kind of, it's on the larger side. It is in excellent condition. Same on both sides. Nice on the handles, silver tone hardware. You have a split middle, but it does not, you can't put anything in the center. It's just a divider. One side, you have your Made in Italy with your zipper pocket. And then the other side has no pockets. Very clean, excellent condition, Made in Italy snake print tote. And we are going to do this one for $35. Next up, we had the Saffiano Leather Rebecca Minkoff. This is genuine leather. It is by Rebecca Minkoff. It is black. It is a medium size tote handbag or shoulder or crossbody bag. You can adjust it. Gold tone hardware. This strap is removable and adjustable. And then you have the top handles. All right, you have your signature Rebecca Minkoff um, zipper pocket with the tassel. Your Rebecca Minkoff heat stamp is in the back. It is in excellent condition. The inside has three sections, the middle being zippered. Here's your middle zip. So the back section has your branding and your card slot and zipper pocket. Then you have your middle zip section. And then you have the other side, which has your slip pockets. Okay, so really cute little tote handbag or crossbody, medium size black Saffiano leather, $40. That is a great price for Rebecca Minkoff. Okay, then we had the bags from the Thread Up box. So um, I am still working on the suede Rebecca Minkoff. If you guys remember, um, it's like a beige color and it's like all dirty and jacked up. I had to buy a special suede paint. So I will, I actually just got that in the mail yesterday. So I will be working on that purse. Um, I will put videos of it on my Instagram page. Um, so make sure you guys are following that. It's all the information's in the description box. Um, and I will ha hopefully have it for next week. Um, hopefully like next week's purse sale. So from the thread up box, we had this off white leather Kate Spade tote. Um, I didn't, it wasn't really able to be fixed up too much because the corner the corners were actually wear and not dirtiness. 
but it is not terrible as you can see. Um, and the bottom is nice. There was some, there was a mark here. I was able to lighten it up a little bit, but <clears throat> it's still there. And this is somewhere here. And then the corners, like the edge coat along the top is all cracked. Um, but I did fix the separation on the sides of the handles right in here. So all that has been glued back together. Um, so it was just, you guys can see it. Right in here, it was all splitting. So I glued all that back together. Um, then the inside is a zipper closure. Um, the Kate Spade is on this side, heat stamped in. And then the inside um, just had a couple little spots. You have your zipper pocket and there's a couple little spots of staining, but it really wasn't anything major. So it's really just the edge on the top here and the minor corner wear. So we're gonna do a really good deal on this. We're gonna drop this down to 25 bucks. <clears throat> All right, that actually might be a good candidate to paint if somebody wanted to take that project on. Um, next, we had the Dooney and Burke crossbody. This was the brown leather with the blue nylon, a little crossbody bag. It can be adjusted, but it's gonna stay a crossbody. It has gold tone hardware. Um, the front of this is really nice. You have two pockets in the front. Very clean, hot pink on the inside. The back has a little mark right here. Um, and, the cor and then you have your leather dooney. The corners are great. And then the inside on the top just had some um, pen marks along the top. But again, nothing too serious. And then your serial number is there. So really great if you want just like a knock around bag. Um, it's, there's really the only thing that anyone would ever see is maybe the back, but it's gonna be against your body so nobody's gonna even see that. So for this little guy, and yes, a phone will fit, uh, we're gonna drop it down to only 20 bucks. All right, so that wraps up the clearance section. So I'm going to put the ordering instructions up on the screen and we will continue. Okay, so make sure you guys are checking the sold list, refresh the video after you're done watching it. So that means to click out of it and then come back into it or press the refresh button on your screen. It's a arrow in a circle and it will refresh. You'll be able to see the most up-to-date list. And remember, somebody might email you. <sighs> I always say that. Somebody might email me before you um, for the same bag. Even though it's not on the sold list, I can only be so fast, okay guys? <laughs> All right, so up first, is if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me fix up this bag. So I did a behind the scenes yesterday where I cleaned up all my purses and I put it on Instagram. So this was one of the purses I worked on. This is a hand tooled, so a tooled by hand American West shoulder bag. It has longer double handles it is a beautiful brown leather with these awesome silver tone concho style um, floral pieces on the front and the back. The tooling is absolutely beautiful. I fixed up this bag so much. It was so hurt and um, it came out beautiful. Um, you can probably put a pen in here, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> You're going to get it all over the bag. Um, Here's the other side, beautiful. Okay, this, this poor baby was in rough shape when I got her. Um, handles are great. And then, so you have your branding right there on the front. You have a pocket here on the front. 
And then your uh, main section is two sections. So you have a back zipper pocket, back zipper section, I should say, because it goes down all the way to the bottom of the bag. And then you have your main compartment, which is a snap closure. And that's where you have your um, little creed right there, okay? So really, really great bag, absolutely gorgeous. It's probably vintage. Um, it's, I mean, this is just a cool bag and it is structured. So American West, $48. Purse is falling on top of me over here. All right, next up, if you don't like brown tooled leather, maybe you like blue tooled leather. So this is by Labrado Leather, Labrado Leather. It is a kind of like a teal blue. Um, see, my shirt is blue. This is, so this is more of like a teal. Um, it has, you have the LL right there for Labrado Leather. You have a pocket here in the front, which unzips on both sides. And you have like a little um, wallet section if you wanted to use that. Okay, longer double shoulder handles, nothing on the back, just beautiful tooling. Okay, um, there is the tiniest itty bit of wear on the corners, but very, very, very slight, okay? Beautiful, like, taupe style. And then your interior has two compartments. So you have a back snap section, which has nothing in it. And then you have the main compartment, which is a zipper closure. And you have your branding with a little slip pocket. And that's it. Beautiful teal blue leather tooled purse by Labrado Leather, $48. Next up, we have a Bagley Mishka. Bagley Mishka. This is a black leather crossbody or shoulder bag. Um, longer shoulder bag, but definitely crossbody. It is adjustable and removable. You have the gold heat stamp Bagley Mishka on the top. It is super duper soft black leather. These are all gold tone studs. Okay, the bag kind of has like a little, a little cinch in right here at the waist. And the back is beautiful black leather. Corners are excellent. All of the studs are there. And on the inside, you have two sections. So you have a back snap section. And that is where your branding is with your zipper pocket. Then your other section is a zipper closure. And that has your slip pockets. Beautiful. Black leather with gold studs, Bagley Mishka, and we are going to do this for $45. Okay, $45. Love that one. All right, next up. So I did include a few bags from my own personal closet because I'm just not using them. Um, I'm not reaching for them. I don't like to have things in my home that I'm not using because it's not fair. I can pass them along to somebody else who can put them to use. So here is the first one. It's a Furla candy bag. I love this purse, 
but it's just too big for me. It, it's too big and I really only, actually it was supposed to go this way, this is the front. I really only carry like my wallet, my phone, my keys, and like a little like makeup bag or something. So this, I, I mean, I could fit my whole house. <laughs> Everything that I own, I can fit in here because it's it it's, doesn't look very big, but it is big because it's like wide. So this is the Furla candy bag. It is a rubber bag with this faux calf hair at the bottom in like a um, like a Dalmatian print, and it's in really great condition, and I love it. It's just too big for me. It is this like raspberry raspberry pink and you know the white and black with the black top handles um it does not have any other strap this says made in italy here furla on this side as well okay you have your feet i did fix this corner there was a hole in this corner but i um sealed that up so you're good to go on that on that corner and everything else on the bag is in really great condition so handles are great um, you open up the bag on the top. It is a gold tone hardware, and there is no pockets or anything on the inside. Straight down, you have a little stain, but there's nothing on the inside, okay? No pockets, no nothing. So um, I've, I've looked these up, and you also have Furla on the tab here. So I've looked these up and um, they range in price, but the ones with the two-tone like this are the most expensive. Um, there's ones listed online with just all black and those are up over $200. Um, I'm going to ask 95 for this, which is not even very much more than what I paid. Um, I just wanted a little extra from what I paid to cover my shipping and I did a little repair on it, so that's my little charge there. <laughs> so 95 for the Furla candy bag, really, really cool. I wish I could keep it, it's just too big for me. Okay, then we have this little cutie. So this does not have a name, this is unbranded, but it is made in Italy. Wait, does it, did it say that? No, sorry, it just says genuine leather. It is a crossbody bag. It is a longer crossbody bag. Um, and it is black leather with calf hair or hair on hide, however you want to explain it. It is in excellent condition. You have a pocket here on the front, a zipper pocket on the back. The corners are excellent. There is no missing calf hair. The um, hardware is gold tone. The top has a zipper closure. The inside has a zipper pocket and that says genuine leather. There is literally nothing wrong with this bag. Um, it is so super cute, great for your essentials. Your phone will fit, no problem, okay? So for the genuine leather, hair on hide, cross, crossbody, $30. Next up, we have a really cute Steve Madden. So if you like just a plain little black bag, but you want some pizzazz to it with this gold tone chain, this is for you. This is a crossbody bag. You cannot adjust it. It is a um, faux Saffiano leather. Um, it is in excellent condition. Gold tone Steve Madden here. You have your hang tag Steve Madden here. Um, it is in excellent condition all the way around. Okay. The inside, you have a couple different things going on here. So you have three sections. The back section is a double snap and it has some card slots. The front is a double snap with more card slots, okay? The main compartment is zippered and you have a little slip pocket, okay? Phone will fit, no problem. This has a slight smell of perfume. Um, it's kind of like a fruity perfume. 
probably like a three out of 10 on the Kristen Stinko meter, but it stinks nice. <laughs> so excellent condition, black faux Saffiano leather, Steve Madden crossbody, and we're gonna do this one for 25. Next up, so we're gonna turn the page and we have, we're up here now. So this is, I'm hoping that this dried. Yes, okay. Well, not really, it's still a little wet. All right, well you'll just have to um, bear with me because it's still a little wet, I cleaned it. Um, okay, so this is the um, Coach um, Horse and Carriage Hobo in pink and salmon. These are actually very expensive. Um, I didn't realize that, I just bought it because I love the color combination. It is the fabric pink and salmon. Um, it is very bright and it has a couple little marks here and there. Um, but you should have seen it when I bought it. It was a complete disaster. So I'm glad to have been able to get out like 99.5% of the marks. There are, there is very, 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 very little like darkening to the corners. You have a little mark right there. Um, but honestly, this bag is gorgeous. You have a little bit of darkening right there. Um, the handles are patent leather and they're in excellent condition. They have patent leather on one side, leather on the other. You have the top handle, top shoulder handle here, or you have the crossbody on the top, which can be adjusted and removed. You have silver tone hardware. You have your hang tag here. Um, like I said, just a teeny little bit of darkening to the corners, but nothing major. Overall, it's in really great shape. Like I said, if you saw this bag before, it, I mean, it looked like somebody kicked it around in the mud, but I saw potential in her. All right, so the top has a zipper closure. There is no damage to the patent leather around the zipper closure. Um, usually you see like a lot of peeling in that area, but this is in good shape. And then the inside is beautiful. You have your Creed with your zipper pocket and your slips, bright pink interior. So, um, like I said, these are actually very expensive. They're listed online for $100 and up, but because she has a couple teeny little dings here and there, I'm going to just ask 68, okay? 68 on her. Love, love those colors. Okay, then we have this little lady. So this is also a coach. She is beautiful. I love the dark blue pebbled leather. She is a longer shoulder bag. It, the crossbody sits a little high on the hip, but you can drop it um, another probably four to five inches. So definitely a crossbody bag. When I got this bag, it was the strap was doubled and fed through here, and it was just like a little shoulder bag, shoulder handle about this small. So you can make it into a shoulder strap as well. Um, it has silver tone hardware. It's in excellent condition. It's got a little bit of darkening here and here. All right, the bottom is beautiful, gorgeous, okay. The back has a large zipper pocket. That's the front, here is your hang tag. It actually didn't have a hang tag, so I added this one. I thought it was like a nice contrast instead of me trying to find a blue that matched. Um, the inside is a um, zipper closure. I love this leather, it's so thick and beautiful. The inside is a beige color. That's also why I chose that color hang tag. Um, there is your Creed with your zipper pocket and your slips. You do have a couple of small stains down there, but just a few and nothing serious. So this beautiful dark blue pebbled leather coach, $60. 
Okay, we're over here now. This one might be the favorite of the haul for me. This is a Mark by Mark Jacobs crossbody bucket bag. It is in a beautiful blue. Okay, it is, I would say this is like a blue. It's not really teal, maybe a little on the teal side, but it is a beautiful blue. It is a crossbody, beautiful matte gold tone hardware. You can make it longer and shorter, but I think it's going to stay a crossbody. It is a larger style bag. It has the Mark by Mark Jacobs on the front. Beautiful condition all the way around. Corners and everything are gorgeous. Bottom is gorgeous. Um, the top here, you just lift it up. And then the inside has a snap closure. And the inside is one section. white and for a white inside this is really clean just a few little teeny spots down there actually that's just fuzz that that's just fuzz down there so really beautiful bag um i didn't see one like this online i saw the messenger style and they were up around 200 dollars. i'm just trying to get the thing back in okay so for this one i'm going to do 85 85 it is gorgeous let me put you you know what we're gonna put you right back up there okay now we have a Talbot's this is super pretty and in excellent condition this little shoulder bag by Talbot's it is suede I know I normally don't buy suede but this is in like perfect condition it is a beige uh, snake beige snake print, like a beige and tan snake print. It has a rolled handle with beautiful, almost like horse bit gold tone hardware. It is the same on both sides. The um, corners and bottom are absolutely stunning. I'm not really sure this bag was even ever worn because it's in such good condition. It has a magnet closure one compartment on the inside i've been coming across a lot of talbot's bags lately and they are stunning so i picked this one up there's your zipper pocket and your slips and there is nothing wrong with the interior it is clean i know it's hard to show you um so for the tan and beige suede snake print talbot's shoulder bag we are doing 45 dollars I'm gonna put you up here too. Next up, we have a Banana Republic. If you like big bags, this one is for you. Let me just fix. That has to be fixed. The little hang tag. But look at this big hobo. It is a beautiful brown, dark brown leather Banana Republic Hobo Shoulder Bag. It is large. You have a beautiful pocket here with the antique gold tone hardware. You have a zipper pocket on each side. Okay, the bottom and corners are beautiful. The handle can be adjusted, but this is the longest it can go. Okay, so it's going to be a nice roomy shoulder bag. You have your um, hang tag, which just has to be flipped. Just has to be turned so it hangs proper. Um, you have a nice tassel on the zipper closure, which opens up to one compartment on the inside. Very large compartment on the inside. You have your zipper pocket on one side and your slips on the other. 
Very, very clean interior, excellent condition all the way around, large brown leather Banana Republic hobo shoulder bag. <laughs> and we're gonna do this one for 50, five zero. All right, let's pause and show the ordering instructions again and we'll keep on moving. Okay, so make sure you're checking the sold list, click out of the video, come back in to update the video so you can see the sold list updating and the pending payment list. Okay, make sure you're checking that before you email me. All right, so up next, I love this one too, honestly. This one is gorgeous. This is I Medici, made in um, Italy, Florence, Italy. It is absolutely stunning. You have the top handle here, or you have the crossbody or shoulder strap. It is adjustable and removable, um, antiqued gold tone hardware. It is in a beautiful like chestnut brown leather. This is going to um, like fold at, at, with as, as much as you have in it. You have the heat stamping on the front. This bag is in excellent, excellent, excellent condition. Okay, it, and it smells, you just have a little bit of a dark spot right there. It smells like beautiful leather. Absolutely beautiful on the handles. The inside has this snap closure. Oh, I can just sniff it all day long. Um, so the inside now, it's really cool because you can kind of make this into a little bit of a bucket bag. The inside on the back of this strap, you have this clip. So if you wanted, you can clip the sides together and you have like a little bit of a bucket bag and it, it, um, it'll give you like a little bit of a different look. Okay, that's the back though. So it'll give you a little bit of a different look, a little bit more of like a bucket bag look, but you do have three compartments. You have the middle being zippered so the front, or I should say the back section, has your zipper pocket and your made in Italy I Medici, your middle zip section, and then the other side has your slip pockets. Inside is excellent condition, outside is excellent. You just have that little dark spot on the bottom. I Medici, $55. Next up, we have a Valentina. I haven't been able to find this brand in a while, but I found another backpack. So I've sold this in three colors now, three colors. This is the Valentina, I love Valentina leather. Beautifully soft, pebbled black leather, silver tone hardware, got a couple little dings on that. This is a backpack or a sling bag, so you can unzip it to have your straps, shoulder straps, which are adjustable, or you can have it zipped and have it as a sling bag, okay? You have a zipper pocket here on the back if you wanna keep like extra special things against your back. You have a front zipper pocket, okay? There is very, very light wear to the hardware, hardly noticeable. You got a fuzzy on the bottom. There we go. Um, excellent condition on the corners. Um, you have the inside, well you have the top handles here, and then the inside you're gonna kinda open up the handles like that, and you have the zipper middle section, okay? So the inside is one compartment. It is clean. You have a zipper pocket with your branding and the other side has slips, okay? So then you zip it back up. You're going to pull the handles or the straps, I should say, through because that's what keeps it closed are your handles when you have it on. Okay, so no one's getting in that. 
So for the Valentina black leather backpack, we're doing $45. Let's put you over here. Okay, then we have, this one's beautiful too. This one's also Italian. And this one is Vittoria Napoli, Vi excuse me, Vi Vi <laughs> Vittoria Napoli, kind of like Victoria, but in, with two T's, Vittoria Napoli. This one is a really cute little bag. It has, um, this is like a blue, like a, like a bluish gray and black leather snake print with calf hair or hide on hair in a beige and black. You have a top handle, you have your hang tag, you have gold tone hardware. It is in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful condition. No missing calf hair. Okay, and then you're gonna open it up. Oh, sorry, hold on. The strap is crossbody, adjustable, and removable so if you want to just carry it by the top handle the button you push to open it up you have beautiful suede here the inside has your it says Vittoria Napoli genuine leather made in Italy with your zipper pocket all right absolutely gorgeous Excellent, excellent condition, Vittoria Napoli, and we are doing this one for $48, gorgeous. Next up, so I got, a, I got this one because it's fun and it's new with tag. This is new with tag, Urban Outfitters. They were asking $49 $49 for this bag. Insanity. It's a cute like little camera bag style. You have the um, like guitar strap style, hot pink, adjustable, silver tone hardware, crossbody or shoulder strap. You also have this really cool strap that you can use as a shoulder strap, but I kind of like it just like hanging, so it would look you know, like that, and it would be kind of hanging over the front, or um, you can hang it from this strap so it kind of hangs a little higher, but it is brand new with tag and in new condition. It is a hot pink nylon. These are functioning pockets. And then the inside, there are no pockets, just your branding. All right, super fun bag, phone will fit, no problem. Love this one. I love the color, neon. What's your favorite color? Neon. So for the brand new with tag, Urban Outfitters, hot pink crossbody, $28. So that is a little more than half price, but still, $49 for this, that's insane. Okay. Next up, we have Latico. So this is a really pretty green, beautiful green leather. This is a crossbody. It does not adjust, and it is a longer crossbody, okay? This falls pretty far, pretty, you know, pretty long on me. So um, if you need a longer crossbody, this is for you. It is in the strap is in beautiful condition. It does not adjust, but it does remove. Um, you have a pocket here on the front. You have a pocket on the back. There is very, very, very slight wear to the corners. You can't even really tell, but it is there. Very slight. Um, it was missing the pull, so I added this pull. And then the inside has your Latico zipper pocket and card slots. Phone does fit. You can lay it down along the bottom here. Okay, my big old phone does fit. 
So for the Latico green leather longer crossbody bag, we are going to do $25. Next up we have a Patricia Nash. This one is kind of like a um, distressed. Um, it is really cool. It reminds me of um, bed stew. So it is a crossbody bag. It does not adjust and it does not remove. The strap has this like, you know, darkening all over it and a dark edge as well. It's really neat. The front has a little bit of that like darkened, pebbled chestnut leather, antiqued gold tone hardware. There is your Patricia Nash on the back. It is in excellent condition. You have the um, snap little strap here and you have the interior. That is the only closure on the bag. There is your branding, zipper pocket and slips. Excellent condition on the inside. Even the branding has some distressing to it, which is really cool. So for the distressed Patricia Nash crossbody, we are doing $45. Okay, next up we have a Michael Kors. This is a black leather shoulder bag by Michael Kors. You have the um, silver tone hardware hang tag, beautiful condition. You have Michael Kors here on the bottom. It just has some fingerprints on it. <laughs> um, nice chunky hardware on the strap. You can adjust the strap um, about an inch longer, but it is going to stay a shoulder bag. Plenty of room. Um, it is in excellent condition. You can add a crossbody strap if you want because this can open up. Um, or you can just, you know, you can take this off and put on a, little, a longer strap if you wanted. Um, it is in beautiful condition. Nice black leather. The inside, you lift up this flap here and you have one compartment. This is a Michael by Michael Kors. There is your zipper pocket with your key fob and your slips. This would actually make a great crossbody bag if you um, were to get a longer strap. Um, I can get a nylon strap for you in black if you would like that, just let me know. Um, it'll add $10 to the price of the bag. Um, and it is, it's $48. 58 if you want me to buy a strap for you. Okay, so 48 as is. All right, next up we have a beautifully Kelly Green Kate Spade um, satchel handbag in leather. It is quite large. It has your hang tag here, gold tone hardware. You have a pocket on the front. Okay, it is structured. I don't have it stuffed. Okay, excellent condition. I thought there was a little, there's a couple light little like, they're not really scratches, they're kind of like indents. But you can really only see it if you catch the light a certain way. So I really wouldn't be too worried about it. I just want to point it out. Um, handles are in great condition. It can be a shoulder bag, but I really wouldn't do that. I would just um, hand, hand bag it. <laughs> the inside has three compartments, the middle zipped. There is your back section with your Kate Spade and your zipper pocket. Then you have your middle zip. And then you have this side, which has your slips. Excellent condition. Beautiful Kate Spade in Kelly Green leather large satchel handbag, and we're gonna do this one for 50, five zero. Okay, then we have a blue, a blue, oh my gosh, it's stuck. Okay, here we go. A blue faux leather 
bag by Keith, Charles and Keith. Blue, dark blue, faux leather. It is a crossbody. It does not adjust. It's gold tone hardware. But look at these, how cool these handles are. If you wanted to just hold it by the handle, um, it has blue stone on it. These are real. And this bag is new with tag. It is a faux leather, Charles and Keith. Um, really cool, like I said, that's real stone. The inside has a snap closure. I'll show you the tags because they're on the inside. So the inside has a zipper pocket on one side here. And then the other side you have your slip pockets. And here are the tags. Charles and Keith, medium navy. And this says that it is genuine semi-precious stones. Okay, so dark blue, faux leather, Charles and Keith, longer shoulder or crossbody or handbag with the blue gold stone. And we're gonna do this one for 35. Um, next, okay, so next up are the um, littles. So let's put up the ordering instructions and we'll keep going. Okay, so just remember to check the sold list. After you're done watching the video, refresh the video so you can see the most up-to-date sold list before you email me. Okay, so we're gonna start with the littles. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the before and after of this wristlet. So, um, this wristlet is Coach. I did a before and after video on Instagram. Please follow me over there. I literally post numerous times a day over there. A lot of beh behind the scenes stuff so you guys can see what I do like throughout the day and everything like that. This wristlet I bought um, even though it had transfer marks on it. So this wristlet used to be this color, um, but it had like orange like transfer marks on it. In the video, you can't really, like in the video of me transforming this, you can't really see the transfer marks, but they were there. Um, it was on clearance half off, so I decided to buy it and try to fix it up because I've never painted patent leather before and um, I wanted to try it and it came out beautiful. Look at this. I can't, I mean, it is like amazing. So I did the strap also, silver tone hardware. Um, you have the coach right here. I can add a hang tag if you want. I have a whole bag of hang tags. So just let me know in the email if you want me to add a hang tag and I'll let you know what colors I have um, and it will be an extra $5 added to the price. Um, so anyway, it is now a dark blue. It is beautiful. Okay. The only thing I did get a little bit of paint right here. I did a little oopsie, but other than that, she's good. This is leather. I even did the pull, painted the pull. Um, and then the inside, this is also why I wanted to paint it blue because the inside is blue. So I thought that would be really nice. So you have a really big slip pocket right here. All right, it is large. So if you wanted to fit your phone in here, you can. Um, so this one is a larger coach patent leather wristlet with the Kristen D upgrade. And we are gonna do this one for 25. And if you want a hang tag, let me know in the email. I can let you know what colors I have and it will be an extra $5 added on to the price, okay? So there's that one. Then we have a Michael Kors wallet. This is a beautiful black leather. It is in excellent condition. It just has a couple little scratches on the plate here in silver tone. Um, the pull is in good condition. The All the corners and everything are in really great condition. I gave this a nice cleaning and conditioning. Also on my Instagram. <laughs> so really excellent on this one. 
zip around and the inside's beautiful. So you have your um, card slots, your middle zip section, and more card slots. So beautiful black leather Michael Kors wraparound wallet, $20. Next up, we have this wallet. This one is by Bosca, B-O-S-C-A. This is kind of like the wallet I carry. Um, I'll show you the inside. It is a black leather, gold tone hardware. Um, there's a couple little marks on the back. Actually, that came right off. Okay, beautiful condition, black leather. And then you just open it up. You have a, a spot for your ID. And then these you can put pictures in, but in my wallet, my wallet, my, my card wallet has these. I use them for my cards. I use them for, you know, my, my pistol permit, my, um, I have my license because it doesn't have this. Um, I have all my, my debit cards. I have my store cards, all that, you know, right in these. And then there's your branding. So really great condition, little Bosca black leather card wallet, $15. Next up we have a Calvin Klein faux Saffiano leather wallet. This is in like a, um, like a brown and cream color with the gold tone Calvin Klein. It's in really great condition. Um, I had to replace the edge coat here because it was missing. So it does just kind of look a little different, but that's about it. So on, the, on one side here, you have this, it's faux leather. You have this side here with all your card slots and ID slots. Close that back up. And then you have the zip around part here. And that has some um, coin slots, or if you wanna put cash in it, you can. All right, so cute little wallet, double-sided sections, and we're gonna do this one for only 10 bucks, okay? And then we have um, a coach wristlet. I probably should have put that next to the co other coach one, but this one is in excellent condition. There's nothing wrong with it. It is a red leather and brown and beige um, jacquard, I think they call this, the double C's, signature C's fabric. Excellent condition, gold tone metal um, branding, zip, and then the inside just has some card slots, okay? So for the little wristlet, and you can use this in your purse to put your lipsticks in or you know separate things in your bag, um, and I'm gonna ask, $20 for this one. Um, next up, we have an Hermes dust bag. This is literally the only thing that I've ever held in my hands from Hermes. <laughs> it is a small size dust bag for like a wallet or jewelry. Um, it does cinch in. Um, it is in excellent condition. So if you want, maybe you have something Hermes and you want to keep it in the dust bag, or if you wanted to upcycle this, it's up to you. It's an excellent condition. These are selling like $30 and up, crazy. I'm gonna do uh, 25, and then if nobody buys it, I might upcycle it myself into something. Okay, maybe you can add a strap here and you can make it like a little crossbody bag. How about that? So um, this one, $25 for the Hermes. Next up, I have a pair of new without tag Oakley sunglasses. They come in the original little baggie. They are new without tag. They have all of these stickers still on it. It is a silver, like plastic, I guess. I don't know what they make their sunglasses out of, but, um, it is silver and it has your markings in here. It says Gibston and then USA made here. So these can be unisex. 
Hold on, I've got it stuck in my hair. These can be unisex. These actually fit pretty nicely. Like they like, they go all the way around kind of. Okay, so like I said, there are new without tag Oakleys. This is the Oakley, these are the Oakley Prism. Oakley Prism. These are selling for $80 and up on eBay and Poshmark. I will ask 30 on these, $30 on the Oakley Prism. Let's put you over here so you don't get broken. All right, now we have a little Coach perfume. Okay, this is the Wild Rose Au de Parfum. Little fun fact, Au de Parfum means that it's made, it's an oil-based perfume and it will last longer. Eau de Toilette means it is a water-based um, perfume, so it won't really last as long. But just keep in mind the parfum, the oil-based, if you get it on your clothes, it might stain it. Okay, just throwing that out there. So this is a little um, 0.15 ounce glass bottle of the Wild Rose perfume, unopened, well, except for just now. I have the um, scent profile. So the Coach Wild Rose is inspired by Coach's prairie floral prints, a symbol of the house's free-spirited attitude. The delicate yet bold scent opens with juicy, sparkling, red currant and sunny spicy bergamot um it has a it opens on a lush meadow of delicate rose and jasmine before finishing on a woodsy warm dry down dry down of crystal moss and dusky abroxin abroxin that was a lot so <laughs> so it also says that it has like it's like a floral like a floral woody type of smell, okay? So, um, I am going to sell this for $20. All right, now we got the shoes. So, first up, we have a pair of Vince Camuto booties. You can definitely still wear these in New York right now. It's barely 50 degrees, so you got some time to rock these. These are a black leather ankle boot with gold tone metal. Look at the studs and look at the Vince Camuto plate on the heel. It's about a two inch heel. Absolutely stunning and in excellent condition. These are a size eight and a half and they are gorgeous, okay? Eight and a half, so we're gonna do these for 20 bucks. Then we have a pair of Coach flats in black leather. These are also in excellent condition. They have gold tone metal on the front with the bow. Um, they have like the cloth around the edge. These are also a size eight and a half. I promise I didn't mean to do that on purpose. They are a size eight and a half, very gently used. And these are going to be $25. And then I have a pair of shoes um, that I'm selling for a friend, but they didn't, like I don't have them, they didn't come. Um, so I had, I have pictures of them. So I'm going to insert the pictures here and then I will put um, the pricing um, on the photos. So they are a size nine Michael Kors like sneaker, like a little bit like a sneaker booty. So um, I will have the price on the screen for you um, and you'll get to see all the photos. They are in excellent condition. Um, you know, lightly used, but excellent condition. Size nine, Michael Kors, and here we go.
Okay, so let's keep going and let's get into the America's Thrift Supply box. So these can be found on americasthriftsupply.com and um, I have a code. So if you're at checkout, right above where it says your total, you can enter a promo like discount code. If you enter Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-E-N, you can save 15% on all of your purchases. I don't get anything for this code. I just get to use the code myself. So I, you know, I plug it for you guys. Um, I don't get anything out of it. I just get to use it. <laughs> All right, so this is the five piece name brand purse box. And it, um, sometimes you get more than five if the, if like one or two of them are like doo-doo condition. So we shall see. <clears throat> I or oops, I ordered this on um, March fifteenth, and with my fifteen percent off, plus nine ninety nine shipping, it comes to fifty two dollars and forty eight cents. All right, here is Top Peaks. Mm, we don't have too good of a top pick there. That is a Capizio. It doesn't look like leather though, but we shall see. Okay, so it is a brown and black with gold tone hardware. There is a little bit of um, color loss on the hardware, but nothing major. Um, let me, I'm just gonna see if this is leather really quick. No, this is not leather. So you have a pocket here on the front that has two sections. You have a zipper pocket on the front here. There is some wear to the corners. Um, it does not come with the shoulder strap, so you just have the top handles. And the inside you have a middle zip section. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but like I would never buy this in the thrift store. So I'm just gonna do this for $5 if anybody's interested. And it's not gonna come back to clearance next week, so $5 buy it now, otherwise I'm just gonna donate it. All right, let's take another peek. Okay, so what's this that just fell over? I have no clue what this even is. It's by Gala, G-O-L-L-A. It looks like you put this on like your belt maybe, and it's just like a little pouch. So maybe if you wanna just carry your, like a card or cash. I mean, it's kinda of cool if you wanna just add it to your belt, or you can add it to your purse strap and have it, you know, just on the purse strap, and it's like a little, you can put your chapsticks in it or something. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to have this like lightening of the color, like it's kind of distressed looking. I mean, it's kind of it looks kind of cool, honestly. Um, I, I'm not hating on it. So you have a little zipper pocket, maybe for your cash, and then you have this spot here. So it, it's not terrible. I'll do five bucks on it, all right? I'm not gonna bring it back to clearance next week, so $5 now. We have a Lug wallet. They are very similar to Bagalini. This is a uh, wristlet, but you can remove the wristlet, str wristlet strap. It's black with gunmetal hardware. It looks like it's in really good condition. You have a back zipper pocket. Zip around, yeah. I mean, it's probably new, honestly, because I don't see, I'm just checking all the slips. Yeah, it might be new uh, without tag. So cute little wallet, wristlet. Let's do that for 10 bucks, 10 bucks. All right, let's see what this is. This is another faux leather. Um, you are Nine West. It's actually pretty. It's got um, 
beige faux leather, you got the cloth here, and then you got this like snake, like reptile print faux leather. It's actually not terrible. It's got a little bit of wear on the corners. Nothing serious. I don't really know if I'm gonna be making my money back on this box yet or not, but so far, no. Um, you got two pockets, oh no, just one, one pocket on the top. You might have some staining right here, but it kind of blends in with the bag. Um, gold tone hardware, the straps have some of the edge coat missing on the very top. The inside has a snap closure. You have three sections, the middle being zippered. There's your nine west with your zipper pocket. Then you have your middle zip. I mean, the inside looks good. You have a slip there, and then you have a, a mirror with the plastic still on it. So, I mean, it's not terrible. I'm just gonna do 10 bucks on it, $10, final sale, final, I'm not bringing it back next week, $10 today only. That's a Simply Vera. Um, so it's got a little mark, but it looks like I can get that off. So this is a faux leather as well. This is gray Simply Vera by Vera Wang. I mean, it's pretty, but we got some faux leather missing on that corner and that corner, a teeny bit on that corner and that corner. So a little bit of peeling on the corners. Um, the handles look okay. Uh, Gunmetal hardware, snap closure. There's a little bit of ink on the tops. Um, there is a middle zip section. There's your branding with your zipper pocket. Then you got your middle zip and then you have your um, slip pockets. So it's not terrible. There's just um, wear to each of the corners. So I'll do this one for $10 as well. Not bringing it back next week for clearance. It's $10 today only. All right, so that was five technically. Okay, this one feels like it has something in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all this. This is all Vera's. <laughs> what the heck? All right, we'll look at those in a second. This is actually a cute print. I like this color. <laughs> it's great for the spring and summer. It's yellow. It is a crossbody. I've, I mean, I get this style in like all my America's Thrift Supply boxes. Um, so it is a crossbody. You can adjust it. It's silver tone hardware. You got the zipper pocket in front. Let's just check for doo doo. Ooh, there's something in there. What is it? Oh, it's just a receipt. Let's see what they bought. Um, what is this? Oh, Merle Norman. I don't know what that is. Um, diamond head. MS. Wow, they put their customer name on here. Employee Allison, customer name Lisa, A Lisa Adams. They bought On the Boardwalk in medium for $25 and Fall Beauty in Olive for $22.50. <laughs> okay. Weird. Okay, so let's look at the rest of it. Oh, there's something in here too. Another receipt. <laughs> What'd you buy this time, Lisa? Memorial Physical Cedar Lake. It doesn't say what they bought. It just says that it was $25 and a Visa swipe from 615 of 2016. Wow. Okay, so anyway, um, back to the purse. It seems like it's in good shape. Pocket on the back has nothing in it. It's a bummer. <laughs> Zip on top. Yeah, everything is really good on this one. Yeah, we're good. You got slip pockets inside there. 
So let's do this one for 20 bucks. 20 bucks on the yellow Vera. Um, and then we, ha we had all these. So let's go through all this. I mean, they're all like rubber banded together. This is so weird. Okay. We got this little guy here, which is like a little, um, <coughs> I mean, maybe for phones at one point, but maybe now just um, like a hand sanitizer or something. But it's cute. It's red. It does have some fading. So we'll just do this for $5. Um, not bringing it back next week. $5 on that. And make sure when you're telling me you want the Vera, give me the colors. Because don't just say I want the Vera for $5 or the Vera for whatever. I need the colors so I don't mess up your invoice, okay? So this one's black with the green and pink florals. This is a wristlet, I guess, wallet. You have a zipper pocket on back. You have the inside section, which looks good. Okay, um, there is a little fading of the black though, just a little, and there is some wear up here. So I'm gonna just do this one for a dollar. One dollar, you're not, it's not coming back next week, so one dollar today only. Oh, how cute, look at this little guy, how cute is this little guy, he's so cute. Oh my lord, how cute is this? So this is a little teeny handbag by Vera. Oh, these are fake little pockets on the front. It's brown, brown and blue. Um, it looks like it's in really great, great condition. You got this zipper on the side. Yeah, excellent condition. Super duper cute. Your phone does fit if you force it in there. So for the little Vera handbag in brown and blue, we'll do 10 bucks. Then we have this crossbody. So this is um, adjustable, silver tone hardware, shoulder crossbody. It's in all kinds of pinks and brown. You have the front pocket, front, and all these little card slots and a zipper pocket. Um, and then you have a zipper pocket on top. Then you have a slip pocket on the back. It is in very good condition. You have the middle, I mean the main compartment, excellent condition. A phone does fit. I've sold this style a million times. We will do this one for $12. All right, last thing in the box is lug. So we got, we actually got a lot in this box, but it's all little, little things. All right, this is a crossbody or shoulder bag. Gunmetal hardware, adjustable. This is nylon, it's black, with all these really pretty florals. Zipper pocket with some card slots. Slip pocket up top here. I mean, it's really pretty. Um, really nice condition. The back, you have a zipper pocket. Excellent. And then your main compartment, just making sure the zippers work. Wow, you got a lot going on in here. Look at all of these pockets. Zip, slip. You got a clear one here. This is a great travel toiletry bag. You got slip, slips. This is called the Lug Ranger, and it is in excellent condition. So let's do this one for 20. So all right, I think I can, I can make a little bit of a profit on this box. So 20 bucks on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 items technically we got. So that was pretty cool. That was just a rubber band. So. Not gonna complain, was it the greatest? No, but I'll be able to make a profit and that's all that matters. So let me know what you guys think. 
Um, give me a thumbs up. Did you have a favorite bag of the haul? Let me know in the comments. Um, subscribe at the bottom of the video. It's free. And make sure you guys add me on Instagram. All of my links are in the description box under the video. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.